Hey guys, so uh, I don't even know where to begin. Let me just start off by saying I miss you guys so much. Whoever watches and whoever I watch, um, I'm just watching all of the mommies out there updates. I guess I will say I had actually the baby already. Yes, I've, I've already had her. So um, before I get into that, um, I just want to say the last video that I posted, I was actually in the hospital, excessively swelling, going in and out of the hospital, they said nothing was wrong, and then all of a sudden I get diagnosed with preeclampsia. Well, it started progressing, progressing in the hospital, and they were saying that they were going to keep me for a month. But that didn't end up happening because the complications it started progressing more, and first it started with the feet, then it started with the legs, then it started with my hips, then it started with my arms. It was like a ballooning effect. And then it got to my face. I, I, I don't even want to. Okay, you guys ready? I'm just going to show you a clip real quick. And this is what I look like. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I was bloated. It was like woo. And then it really, really started to progress whenever my blood pressure started to hit the morning of, like two weeks ago. And um, it was just like this throbbing migraine. It wasn't even a migraine. I don't even know what it was. It was like an explosion in my brain. It wouldn't go away. And then I started getting dizzy. And then I was like, collapsing in the shower and it was just crazy and then my blood pressure started to go up now normally your blood pressure is supposed to be around the top number is supposed to be around 120 to 140s um but the top number was 194 and the bottom number was 114. Could you imagine? Oh my goodness, that was like, as if to say I had diabetes. And I was calling the nurse like, okay, can I have like a Percocet again? And then before they gave it to me, the doctor came in and he was just like, oh my God, your blood pressure is like so high. Like, there's just no way. And then they had all these, and then he said, I'll be back. And then I'm sitting there like, oh my God, like I'm so scared and hurting at the same time. And then he comes back with all these other doctors, suited up, greens, you know, the little surgical suits. And he's just like, yeah, um, it's just safe to say, like, since you're not going to get any better until after you have the baby, we're going to have the baby in about an hour. I was like, are you serious? I'm about to go labor in like an hour from now. So I'm freaking out. I'm like huh he's like yeah we're um we're gonna perform a c-section and you're just gonna have the baby like today and i was like i'm looking at my husband like oh my god i don't want a c-section first of all the whole idea of being cut up ah uh, i was so scared it really started to get really serious when they started to be like okay so we're going to read you your rights and the procedure because they have to do it. It's mandatory. Okay, so your name is 3L Ramsey. Yes. Um, you're born 12287. Yes. Um, you're there, blah, 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 blah. And we're going to perform the C-section. Okay. In about an hour. 1215, da, 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 da. And then they start reading, like, some, uh, all my medicines that I were taking. Magnesium sulfate, 55 something cc, all the medical terms. And one, I didn't even know how the pain was going. Now, I've heard when you have a C-section, it was like numbness, complete numbness. You won't even feel them cutting up. You'll probably hear the utensils that they're using. Because I sure heard a blade, like, I was like, oh, they're about to cut on me. Oh, my God. Are they soldering on me? But um, it wasn't really that bad. Um, they gave me some... Um, medicine or whatever to calm the nausea because I did feel like I was nauseated and it was just because they were pushing down on me. and then she just comes out and this is what she looked like and this is so cute oh my god and um she was pretty small she was of course a pre preemie because I was I had her a month and a half early 
So, that is Talia, and she was three pounds, three ounces. I had her at 12.35. I went in her 12 o'clock, I think, and then I had her like 12.35. So, the C-section was pretty quick. It was like 45, 35 minutes. It was like, got like push out. Let me just say she is very feisty. She has an attitude already and um, since she was born early she was breathing. I was so surprised. She wasn't on no oxygen tank, no nothing, no breathing tube, nothing. The only thing was that she had a little bit of jaundice but that was only for like two days and she had a little bit of meconium which is kind of like a tar type substance that's like a blockage of like um stuff that's not digested right in the stomach or just kind of like a tarry type uh, so when you poop it's like real thick and right now she's in the hospital because of she had the jaundice and uh, the meconium in her stomach all that stuff is gone, the jaundice, the meconium is gone. It's just waking, you know. Hopefully she can come home because, guys, she's been in the hospital for almost a month and I'm getting sick and tired of going over there. Having to tell the nurse, please don't do that to my baby. And I'm there, like, almost every single day um, until maybe, like, midnight or something. Just because, you know, I don't want her to be all by herself and then... <sighs> Sometimes the nurses, they just do whatever they want to your baby, and I'm not for that. I decided to breastfeed and pump, so I'll explain that experience later, because guys, let me just tell you, it is, it gets some use to, but as far as the suctioning, but um, you get kind of used to it. So I'll explain that in another video as far as breastfeeding, pumping, um, I guess if anybody who has questions, just ask or whatever. Um, postpartum update I'll do that and um, as far as clothing and bedding and just explain the whole experience of having a premature baby um, at a month and a half early yeah I'll explain all that so I will see you guys I miss you guys I miss you guys okay I'm not gonna make this long so I'm just gonna leave all right bye